good day students in this video we will be discussing the center of buoyancy of the ship the center of buoyancy just like the center of gravity is three dimensional it is in the vertical axis longitudinal axis as well as on the transverse axis vertical longitudinal and also on the transverse axis <clears throat> now it is that point of the ship through which the force of buoyancy acts vertically upwards with a force equal to the weight of the water displaced by the ship in other words it is the displacement of the ship the center of buoyancy of a ship is that point through which the force of buoyancy acts vertically upwards and is equal to the displacement of the ship it is located at the geometric center of the underwater volume of the ship or at the geometric center of the water displaced hence as the shape of the underwater volume changes the location of the center of buoyancy also changes along the vertical axis it is used to calculate stability and is given by the formula kb plus bm minus kg is equal to gm along the longitudinal axis it is used to calculate the trim and it is given by the formula lcb minus lcg divided by mctc multiplied by the displacement of the vessel lcb is longitudinal center of buoyancy lcg is the longitudinal center of gravity mctc is the moment to change trim by 1 cm and in the transverse direction we do not generally we do not really use the location of the center of buoyancy in any calculation so we are going to skip that part vertical center of buoyancy is denoted in some hydrostatic tables as kb as kb and in some it is denoted as vcb that is the vertical center of buoyancy it is used to calculate the gm of the vessel longitudinal center of buoyancy if it is calculated from the midship is known as hb so you have to be familiar with your hydrostatic tables and see what is the denotion uh, from where it is calculated is it from the midship point h or is it from the aft perpendicular if it is from the aft perpendicular it is shown in your tables as ab or lcb it is used the longitudinal center of, of buoyancy is used to calculate your trim and drafts going to the next slide we see that the center of buoyancy is located off the center line to starboard in the plan view therefore when we are showing it in the cross section view also we will show it to starboard side we cannot show in the plan view on starboard and on the cross section view on the port so please be careful about where you show your center of buoyancy in the transverse direction <clears throat> so just to recap its position on board is three dimensional its position is it is indicated in meters from three reference points along the x y and z axis in your hydrostatic tables the vertical center of buoyancy that is the distance from the keel is denoted either as kb or as 
VCB and it is used to find the GM. When the center of buoyancy is shown from midships, it is denoted as HB. When it is shown from the arc perpendicular, it is denoted as AB or as LCB and it is used to calculate the trim and drafts. When it is shown off the center line, it is known either uh, it is known as TCB or the transfer center of buoyancy. We do not use this in any calculations, hence we just leave it at that. Now, the locations of the center of buoyancy in various shapes. Here we have a box shaped vessel, a ship shaped vessel, a triangular shaped vessel and a cylindrically shaped vessel. WL is the water line which is common for all these shapes. The center of buoyancy is located at the cross of the uh, points, diagonal cross of all the, of these points. It is also located at half the draft. So hence, if the draft was 9 meters, the center of buoyancy would be located at a height of 4.5 meters. That is, KB would be 4.5 meters. For a ship-shaped vessel, it is not located at half the draft, it is located at approximately 0 0.535 times the draft. Hence, if the draft was 9 meters, the KB would be located at 4.815 meters, which is 0.535 times 9 meters. For a triangular shaped vessel, the center of buoyancy is located at two-thirds the value of the draft and it is measured from the keel where the apex is downward. The base is up and the apex is down. So hence if the draft was 9 meters, the KB would be equal to 6 meters. For a cylindrically shaped vessel, the KB the center of buoyancy is located at half the draft. Hence, the KB, which is the distance of the center of buoyancy from the keel, would be at 4.5 meters. Going to the next slide, we have a box-shaped vessel. We are, showing, we are seeing the midship section or the cross-section view. The center of gravity of the box shaped vessel is located here. The center of buoyancy is located here and it is at half the draft. This is your water line and this is the draft. So this is the KB is equal to half the draft. We see over here that the displacement of the vessel is acting vertically downward through from the center of gravity. W equal to the displacement. And the force of buoyancy which is also equal to the displacement of the vessel is acting vertically upward through the center of buoyancy. The force of buoyancy is denoted as FOB. Now the ship is inclined. In inclined at a certain heel. The original water line WL was parallel to the keel. Now she is at the water line W1L1 and is inclined to starboard, heel to starboard. A certain part of the vessel has come above the water line. This wedge is called the emerged wedge as it has come above the water line. The centroid of this wedge is located at small b. This wedge 
please follow my mouse has gone below the water line and this wedge is called the submerged wedge the centroid of this wedge is located at small b1 so let me put this in a presentation format and explain to you further So here we have a box shaped vessel which is inclined and this is the center line of the vessel. This is the point K where it meets the keel. This was the original water line at WL which is parallel to the keel. Here is the center of gravity of the vessel. The displacement of the vessel acts vertically down from the center of gravity of the vessel. This is the center of buoyancy of the vessel on the center line. This is the new water line after the vessel was inclined at an angle of heel W1L1. This, this is the centroid of the emerged wedge this is the emerged wedge of the ship that has come above the water line and this is the submerged wedge of the ship that has gone below the water line this is the centroid of the emerged wedge and this is the centroid of the submerged wedge let us call the centroid of the emerged wedge as small b and the centroid of the submerged wedge as small b1. Let us join these two. Now we see that the center of buoyancy which was originally located on the center line of the ship, this is the center line, moves in this direction which is parallel to the small b b1 and it settles at capital b1 so here is the new location of the center of buoyancy of the ship the force of buoyancy which is equal to the displacement of the vessel acts vertically up through the new location of the center of buoyancy the point where the force of buoyancy cuts the center line is called the meta center. The distance between G and M is the metacentric height of the vessel. So let us go back to the normal mode and we see that K is the keel of the ship. I will alternate between the slides to identify K is the keel of the ship that is here. G is the center of gravity of the ship. G is the center of gravity of the ship. B is the geometric center of the underwater volume of the ship. It is also the center of buoyancy before healing. And B1 is the center of buoyancy after healing. So B is the center of buoyancy of the ship. It is at the geometric center of the underwater volume of the ship before healing. And B1 is at the geometric center of the underwater volume of the ship after she healed. B is the geometric center of the emerged wedge and B1 is the geometric center of the submerged wedge. This is the emerged wedge and B is the geometric center of the emerged wedge. 
this is the submerged wedge and B1 is the geometric center of the submerged wedge. When the shape of the underwater volume of the ship changes, the position of B also changes. The position of B changes when the draft changes and the position of B also changes when the vessel is healed. So as the shape of the underwater volume has changed, the location of the center of buoyancy has changed from capital B to capital B1. Since the vessel has healed, it has moved parallel to small bb1 and it has settled over here and the b center of buoyancy has moved to the new location b1. B capital B B1 is not parallel to the water line of the to the water line at which the ship is floating in its healed condition and capital B B1 is not parallel to the keel of the ship. It is only parallel with the small b b1. Angle G B B1 is not right angled, that is B B1 is not perpendicular to KM. Angle G B B1 is not at right angles. Okay, and it also means that capital B B1 is not perpendicular to KM. With this We come to the last slide of this presentation. To sum up, to recap, the force of buoyancy is equal to the displacement of the vessel and both are denoted by the letter capital W. The displacement of the vessel always acts vertically down from the center of gravity of the ship and the force of buoyancy always acts vertically up from the center of buoyancy of the ship. With that, I end this presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share this video, as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye and have a good day.